Greetings everyone. You're watching the channel Aviation Obsession. Get ready to witness the incredible journey of the Boeing 747, a true aviation icon that soared to the highest heights and faced unforeseen challenges. From triumphs to setbacks, this is the captivating story of a marvel that shaped the skies. Join us as we unravel the untold tales and secrets behind the rise and fall of the legendary Boeing 747. Buckle up, because this is a story you won't want to miss. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for future uploads. Without further ado, let's get started. Step into the world of aviation marvels with the iconic Boeing 747, a true legend in the skies. Dubbed the Super Jet and Jumbo Jet, it's a masterpiece of design that leaves you in awe. Since its commercial debut in 1970, this majestic aircraft has transported an incredible 3.5 billion passengers. With its distinctive hump, four main landing gears, and unique features like triple slotted flaps and split control surfaces, it stands tall as a symbol of excellence in flight. The 747-8, the newest version, is the longest currently operational passenger airliner in the world, standing as tall as a six-story building and boasting a wingspan equivalent to two 737-700s. It can carry over 450 passengers and travel around 7,790 nautical miles. The 747 transformed long-haul air travel, making it more affordable by increasing capacity and lowering ticket prices. It earned the title Queen of the Sky and was the first plane to feature two aisles and overhead bins. It brought glamour and prestige to Boeing, revolutionizing air travel with its dual-purpose design for passengers and cargo. With its distinctive upper deck, loading became more convenient. Over 55 years, Boeing produced 1,574 aircraft, serving 100-plus customers worldwide. The aircraft changed aviation when it was first introduced. Pan Am, a major airline at the time, challenged Boeing to create an aircraft twice the size of the Boeing 707. To meet this demand, Boeing designed a wider aircraft with a twin aisle layout, becoming the world's first twin aisle, widebody jet. Pan Am's order of 25 aircraft in 1966 marked the beginning of a new era in air travel. This groundbreaking plane was made possible by advancements in engine technology, ensuring improved efficiency compared to older models. In the midst of developing the 747, Boeing was also working on an ambitious supersonic transport program. While the aircraft was seen as a transitional aircraft, bridging the gap between traditional jets and the anticipated supersonic planes, fate had a different plan. The supersonic program lost funding, leaving the 747 to thrive beyond expectations. Originally designed for future conversion into a freighter, the 747's success was prolonged. Its massive size presented unique challenges, prompting Boeing to engineer special landing gear to conquer airport operations. The jumbo jet, with its impressive 18-wheel landing gear, revolutionized air travel. To accommodate its size, airports had to make significant adjustments, from widening runways to building new terminals. The creation of the 747 even led to the construction of the massive Everett plant in Washington. Boeing took a bold gamble, pouring everything into the success of this plane alongside other ambitious projects. Against all odds, they designed and built the plane in a remarkable 29 months. The unveiling of the first 747 was a monumental event filled with excitement and anticipation. Flight attendants representing various airlines proudly showcased their logos on the plane's fuselage. In 1970, over 60 passenger versions of the aircraft were delivered, making a grand entrance into the world of commercial aviation. Pan Am had the honor of operating the inaugural flight, drawing crowds of spectators upon its arrival in London. The sheer size of the aircraft captivated the public, and major airlines quickly adopted it as their flagship. While there was initially some chaos adjusting to the jumbo size, airlines found creative uses for the upper deck, transforming it into luxurious lounges and even piano bars for their esteemed passengers. The first prototype, which features the upper deck experience interior that demonstrated a luxurious flying experience, is now on display at Seattle's Museum of Flight. The aircraft quickly became a favorite among pilots. Fun fact. Captain Lynn Ripplemayer shattered barriers, becoming the first woman to captain a 747 and pilot it on a transatlantic flight. Designed for long-distance travel, the aircraft made exploring major cities and world capitals more accessible and affordable. Airlines, recognizing its symbolic legacy, eagerly embraced the plane, even if some were unsure. From United Airlines to KLM to British Airways, the 747 became a staple in airline fleets worldwide, revolutionizing the air cargo market with its freighter version. It continued to soar to new heights with remarkable advancements. 
Beyond commercial flights, it found roles in government transport, including the prestigious Air Force One. In a remarkable feat, NASA utilized a modified 747 to transport space shuttles across the country. Then, in 1988, the game-changing 747-400 took flight, featuring enhanced engines, extended range, and a modern cockpit. This version became the best-selling model. While the 747 has faced tragic incidents, its safety record remains commendable. Some events were more airline-related than design-related. Two of the most notable tragic incidents were the bombing of Pan Am Flight 103, a flight from London to New York, and the crash of TWA Flight 800 off the coast of Long Island. Despite these tragedies, the plane's well-thought-out design and robust redundancies make it a safe aircraft. With four engines, it possesses backup systems for hydraulic power, electrics, pneumatics, and air conditioning. Even in the event of an engine failure, the plane can maintain flight, although it may experience some altitude limitations. In the 1990s, Boeing saw a surge in deliveries of the 747 but later faced a decline. This iconic aircraft played a crucial role in the development of airline hub and spoke networks. However, it was not intended for short-haul routes, and this limited its appeal and usefulness. With the Airline Deregulation Act of 1978, fares, routes, and services became more competitive, leading to lower fares and the rise of new airlines. Passengers now prefer non-stop flights, and more fuel-efficient planes have emerged, causing a decline in superjumbo jets like the 747. Its four engines consumed more fuel, prompting airlines to replace luxurious lounges with seats for increased revenue. Despite these changes, the aircraft remained a beloved and cherished aircraft. In recent years, airlines have shifted their focus towards maximizing passenger capacity, resulting in a decline in the popularity of the Boeing 747. From representing 28% of the world's passenger widebody fleet in 1990, the 747's share has dwindled to just 2% in 2022. The same trend is observed in the cargo fleet, with the aircraft's share dropping from 71% to 21%. This change is driven by the preference for fuel-efficient planes that enable non-stop flights to smaller airports, a capability the 747 lacks. Some airlines, like Pan Am, held onto the 747 for too long, contributing to its eventual demise. In 2007, Airbus introduced its Super Jumbo, the A380, which surpassed the 747 as the world's largest commercial plane with a seating capacity of up to 853 passengers. However, airlines were already shifting towards more fuel-efficient twin-engine aircraft, leading to the discontinuation of the A380 in 2021. The decline of the 747 was predictable, and Boeing now focuses on building planes that meet airlines' demands. Newer aircraft like the 787 Dreamliner and Airbus A350 offer similar capabilities, flying further and non-stop. In 2017, Boeing delivered its last passenger version of the 747 to Korean Air, and that same year, all US airlines stopped flying it. The 747's retirement was met with sadness by many, and her last flight with United Airlines from San Francisco to Hawaii was covered live on television, signifying the end of an era. The 747 reigned as the most successful widebody until 2018, when the Boeing 777 stole the spotlight. The 777's twin-engine efficiency and impressive fuel savings overshadowed the 747's reign. Despite strong demand for cargo versions until 2020, the production of the 747 freighter version was discontinued in favor of the more efficient twin-engine models. Atlas Air has the largest fleet of aircraft and took delivery of the last plane on January 31, 2023. Boeing's upcoming 777X, set to replace the 747, has faced delays, pushing its availability to early 2025. This shift has led airlines to seek alternatives like the Dreamliner, A350, and A330. United Airlines, for instance, placed a massive order for 100 Dreamliners, with an option for 100 more. With 396 still flying, including freighters, passenger planes, and VIP jets, it remains a force to reckon with. Lufthansa leads the pack with 25 aircraft in its fleet. The 747's legacy will endure, serving airlines and operating as a freighter for years to come. Its iconic status is celebrated in aviation museums, hotels, and even a water park, capturing hearts worldwide. The beloved Queen of the Skies stands apart from the rest. In conclusion, the Boeing 747 was a game-changer in aviation, leaving an unforgettable mark on the industry and the world. It wowed with its groundbreaking technology and won hearts worldwide. 
However, as the need for efficiency and environmental friendliness grew, its practicality declined. Despite retiring, its legacy lives on in aviation museums and popular culture. The rise and fall of the Boeing 747 is a captivating tale of change in our ever-evolving world. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and remember to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you have any suggestions or a certain topic to discuss for the next video.